Personal log. I've gotten much of my equipment ready. At least the things I need to survive. I went ahead and used the materials from my shuttle to build a bit of a machine shop. The local rock, when crushed, makes an excellent concrete for a foundation. I'm still relying on my handgun for, re for range defense, although the magazine capacity is woefully inadequate. I'll remedy that, however. I've created the parts for what I believe to be an excellent medium range weapon. The new armor material works great. I've weathered the blast effects of the exploding creatures, the blows of the green skins, and the projectiles of the skinny ones with only minor bruising. It appears to be quite durable also. It really is amazing how this enforced exile seems to focus my mind. End of personal log. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Coffee Hound, and I would like to welcome you to my to episode six. Well, okay, five, but it's actually going to be labeled six because of a recording screw up that I, you would have learned about last episode. Anyway, I am playing uh, my Maroon series. It is a. It is using the. Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker Mod Pack. I probably should get some sleep here. Uh, for Minecraft version 1.7, and it's available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Links are in the description below. So, let's take a look at, well, some of the things I've done while we've been away. As you can see, my machines are no longer there because, well, I moved everything again. Also moved some stuff around in here. Uh, let's see, we should probably do a little quick patrol around the house because we might just have creepers. And if you don't look out for them, well, that's how you get creepers. So, let's see, I didn't see anybody on the mini-map. I mean, I see stuff underground. Okay, um, ba boom, ba boom. I don't see. I hear a zon. I hear one of the green skins. I don't like them very well because they're kind of annoying. Um, let's see here. Oh, discovered an interesting thing about the the digital miner. I may have mentioned this last episode, but up here in this upper right hand corner of the control. Uh, panel for it. If you put a stack of redstone in it, it will power the digital miner. So, you know, or you can put a battery up, put one of these uh, energy cubes in there. But a stack of redstone works just fine. Uh, and this is actually the what I've been up to. Uh, I built an advanced solar generator. Uh, I did that off screen. I also built this off screen using, well, I'm not quite finished, but using the materials from my my shuttle, my escape pod. Um, went ahead and set up our our other generators out here. Cooked up some concrete, which wow, that's a little a little fast. And moved everything around. Uh, actually, the cables go all the way around, but I covered most of those up. Ran out of gravel. Didn't feel like making more. Uh, put metallurgic infuser over here, along with the osmium compressor. There's our basic energy cube as a power buffer, which we will need to grab out of there here in just a moment. Uh, set up our electrolytic separator. There's a uh, electric pump on the outside. Sorry, Trionis, I looked up the the water, the, that water tank from Lat Blocks. Uh, didn't have the materials required in this mod. It, it see, for, I believe for that one, well, let's take a look. Requires, I believe it's four ender pearls. A uh, water tank. And yeah, this one is the one I believe you're talking about. Yeah, it requires four ender pearls and a regular lat tank, which by itself isn't difficult to make, but this part is. So, I have one. One ender pearl. 
and it'll probably be like that for a bit so oh well it'll just have to wait until maybe another time but for now the this is more than sufficient to cover my needs um, we have that the uh, oxygen from the electrolytic separator feeding into our purification chamber which gives us three uh, ore shards uh, those go into the crusher crushing them into dirty ore and then into the enrichment chamber which turns it into regular ore and then gets smelted and well that wasn't quite a full stack of gold when I put it in so I think that was something like uh, about four no about 30 ish I think no less than that less less than 30 I think I forget anyway it's been a little while since I actually played in here I had a bunch of work for a contract I was working on so anyway yeah back here I went ahead and built myself a little pool uh, decided to make it long because I was having some trouble getting a 4x4 four four or a 2x2 two two working. Uh, the pump kept on sucking up all the water because I kept on putting in wrong, it turns out. And then a creeper blew up. So, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was annoying. Um, the creeper blew up and I didn't take any damage to myself because of this awesome obsidian armor. You can see that I took some small amount of damage to my armor itself, but I blew out a big chunk of wall, knocked everything down, lost some some energy conduits and some water pipes and all that. So I was annoyed. I hate creepers. I want them all to die. Um, our advanced solar generator well that's that's providing a fair bit of power but still not quite enough I'm we're gonna have to work on the power situation still more so let's go ahead and grab our energy cube though because we need to do that we have something to use it on oh, yes I need to put this chunk of armor I grabbed off a zombie and uh, I guess not. Well, I guess I'll save that for later to use as as fuel because it's pretty useless. Mm, let's just put that in the in the box for now. Alright. So, what are we doing? Okay, well, let's take our four enriched alloy. We're going to make a better energy cube. And so we put our four enriched alloys in the corner. We put our energy tablets here in the thing. I've, I've made a few of these on camera, so I, I figure it's all right to just not show that recipe over and over again. And we put our old energy cube in the middle. And there we go. This is almost full. That energy is now, well, it's holding 800,000 RF. It holds about four or five times that amount. So, yeah, we've got energy. However, we need some more, some other stuff. So, let's take a look. As I said in my intro, we need a better ranged weapon. That, this little handgun, this phaser, I can get about four, maybe five shots out of it. So we need to make something a bit better. So the first thing we're going to need is a tank. Not just any tank, but a gas tank. And then we grab our four tin, two bronze or tinker's alloy, a flint and steel, an advanced control circuit, and we put our tin in a little upside down or sideways drunken L shape. Our two bronze here, our circuit here, our uh, there's our flint and steel right there, and 
we put our gas tank in the middle and ha 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 I have a flamethrower ha <laughs> ha this is good now Mountain Dew you're gonna love this one if I can find some spiders who dare show their faces in front of me and then of course our crafting table is just not sufficient so let's make a project table from blue power there and let's go next door because I have and we'll go over here to this and we'll put the flamethrower in here boy that does not hold very much does it only holds 2100 2144 hydrogen in the separator I should have should probably make another I'm gonna have to make another one of these uh, those fuel tanks well let's go ahead and dump the oxygen because you know we can do that let's put our energy cube back into our line here and of course we need to turn it around turn it around again Turn it around again. Turn it no. Okay. Need to access to this side so we can whack it with a wrench. still taking energy. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Why wouldn't you just go in the right spot? Oh, we have... Oh, let's see. Do we have... Oh, we have a bit of... Okay, let's do that, and... Actually, let's dump access. There we go. All right, well, now we're going to have to go back to bed because boy, the days are sure short here. Anyway, let's hit the sack again. Ten minute days. That's just so weird. Doesn't give you a lot of time, does it? Anyway. And... There's a spider nearby, but doesn't appear to be... Uh, probably underground. <sighs> okay. Well, I think we can. We probably have enough juice to run our flamethrower for a bit. Oh yeah. It's almost a quarter full. This thing is actually nice. And let's move this over to where it'll be something better than. <laughs> Flamethrower! Now I have a flamethrower. Ho, 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 ho. Those red eyes? No, no, they're not red eyes. That's a sheep. Mutton! No mutton. No. Right, this, maybe that doesn't have that mod. But you know where we can go? I'm going to go someplace where there may be zombies and creepers. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Maybe we'll grab some stuff while we're down there because we're going to go in a cave. I hear a skeleton. Shh. Be very quiet. We're hunting skeletons. 
Hey. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. No, you're not here. Oh, okay. check this part out. Ah. Instant smelting on the go. <laughs> it's got to be close range, though. So, and a little zinc. Doesn't hurt. And it hardly even touches the the Oh, what did we oh my did we just get a bunch of Well that's interesting. What are these? Stone tiles. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, I'm not seeing anything down here, so... Too bad there's nothing like a flashlight in this in this game. Or at least not in this mod pack. Hey, look, there's an ingot of copper somebody left laying around. Whew. I am not seeing a skeleton. This distresses me. Oh, look, there's some glass. This thing is just so cool. What does it do to dirt? Sets it on fire. Yeah, okay. Boop. Boop. Uh, we're just lighting this place up. Oh, yes. Want some cactus green? There we go. Oh, it only lights up the... Only It only cooks the first one. Which is kind of annoying. Hmm. And let's see, what else? Oh yeah. Let's let's do something to the let's try it out on some wood. You know what it does to wood? It turns it into charcoal. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoop! One charcoal, two charcoal, three charcoal, four. Charcoal, five, six, seven. Oh, accidentally lit the tree behind it on fire. Now well, let's take care of that problem. As you can see, the the the, uh, the flamethrower can be a bit of an issue. Um, yeah. Okay, let's stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Alright, well, we need to make a fire break, obviously. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, word of caution. Do not use the flamethrower in the forest. I know. I, I should have realized it, but... Hmm. But let's take a look at the range on this thing. Let's, let's shoot it out over the water, because that's probably a better idea. See, the last... In, in my other single-player world, I had one of these in the desert. And the desert... It works just fine. But then again, in the desert, there's not a lot to set on fire. So, yeah, there is that. So yeah, the flamethrower can be a bit of a problem. Ooh, wow. You know what? Maybe I should go ahead and not walk around with that thing in my hand burning. Anyway, let's take a look around. Hmm. Cassis fruits. 
I really need to look at this apple and milk tea mod because it looks like there's some really interesting stuff, some good, some nice, really fulfilling food in there. I mean, roast an apple, it fills your entire hunger bar and your sat and like half your saturation or vice versa. Half your hunger bar and all of your saturation. Ooh, hello. Yeah, that was that would have been fun. Would have had time for a nice long scream, a couple of indrawn breaths, and then another long and long scream. Ah! Ah! Thud. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll stop being silly. Eh, maybe I won't. I like being silly. So, anyway, yeah. That pretty much takes care of that. And let's see. Let's head on back to the back to the shop because I think we are going to drop off this stuff that we just kind of smelted with our flamethrower. Um, yeah. And then probably go ahead and sign off because I've got to go ahead and get another one of these done tonight. So, I will... I might even mess around with Premiere Pro... Yeah, my my uh, my contract that I'm working on. I ended up having ended up getting a uh, a subscription to Adobe Premiere Pro as part of the work. Now, of course, that means that when you sign up for Premiere Pro, um, you can go month to month, or you can go for a year's contract and still sign still pay month to month but much less but you're you're kind of stuck for a year with the thing um well i'd rather pay twenty dollars a month than fifty dollars a month for a program which means i have access to premiere pro for a year at twenty dollars a month which is pretty cool that's not a bad bad deal really it's a uh, it works rather well now I just have to figure out what I want to do with if if I want to do anything with the YouTube channel on this, or if I just want to go ahead and and uh, just save it for work. Might as well use it for the YouTube channel. I just have really more of a matter of figuring out what I want to do with it. Uh, let's go ahead and put that project table down before I forget about it. Let's just go ahead and put it and uh, let's put it about there. Then we can have it a couple of spaces away from our equipment and such. Put our ingots in here. And stone tiles. We could start playing with blue power a little bit. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out. Um, anyway. Oh yes, charcoal, some cactus green. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. We have some cactus. Uh, Again, well, we don't have build craft, so I don't need cactus green to make waterproofing. About the only other thing I think is dye. Let's take a look. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not going to do blood magic. Just Blood magic just does not interest me. Um, eh, green stain. Okay, so dye. And, uh, oh. Ooh, deco craft. We've got deco craft. I forgot about that. I think I like. You know what? I'm probably going to be getting some deco craft stuff out because deco craft is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see more deep green dye, green dye stuff. Uh, why you'd want to? Dye a block of coal green? I don't know. Um, aura Cascade. Not really interested in Aura Cascade either because. Yeah. I'm, 
Honestly, I'm just not a big fan of magic mods. I mean, they're okay, but eh, they just kind of bore me, honestly. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so that's probably why I'm, why I'm not going to get into blood magic, and that's why I'm not going to get going to get into Aura Cascade. Aura Cascade seems like me. Yeah. Eh, you know what I mean? I don't know. But, anyway. Alright, I'm rambling again, so let's go ahead and sign off right here. And I will see you guys in episode... I'm going to have to decide on whether it's 6 or 7. Last well, heck with it, let's just go ahead and call it episode 7. This will be episode 6 of Marooned, and I will try and start getting things uploaded sooner and sooner, now that I've got a little bit of free time. And, well, this is the Coffee Hound, signing off. Have a good night, and if you see anything you like, let me know. See something you don't like, let me know. Matter of fact, feedback is good no matter what it is. So, Talk to you next time, leave some feedback, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.